Welcome to the e-commerce coffee break in our summer school. This week it's all about conversion rate optimization. So let's dive right into it. Hello and welcome to another episode of the e-commerce coffee break. Today I want to talk about conversion rate optimization. Now you will ask yourself, is that Klaus, you're doing that all the time, but I have a bit of a different angle there. So, and to dive into this topic, I have with me today, Marta Rogach. She is the business development lead of Plurdy at Plurdy.com. And she and her company, they um, dealing with conversion rate optimization on a slightly different level. So therefore I would like to welcome Marta. Hi, how are you today? Hey Klaus, so I'm doing very good. Thanks for having me. It's really a pleasure to join you today. Welcome to be on the show. So conversion rate optimization, obviously a big topic when it comes to e-commerce. Everyone is talking about it. Everyone's trying to figure out how to increase their average order value, their conversion rates to get more traffic converted into buyers. And there's a huge range of ways to do that. A million and one apps out there, a million and one specialists out there, and everyone's trying to figure out the right way. Now, where are you coming from? I think you have a bit of a unique solution um, to approach this topic, and I want to learn more about that. Yeah, so I'll give a bit of a background to this. So as you stated, there are a lot of different ways to optimize for conversion, a lot of different strategies. And... Uh, Many businesses uh, jump on uh, like different things. They're trying to run ads, uh, to use uh, different marketing influencer marketing uh, collaborations. Uh, but a lot of people are overthinking this first uh, main, most important thing: their own website, and uh, it is like the face of every businesses. Uh, and another top, uh, another side of this is uh, that uh, marketing uh, uh, and optimization for conversion always has to be uh, based on data. So you always need to have the insights. So at Florida, we connect those dots. We get your website and we give you data about the user behavior on your website. So you know exactly what people are doing, how they are interacting with your website. So we take the guesswork out of uh, your conversion rate optimization process and uh, we arm you with the actionable insights so you can really understand what people um, what can you know like uh, what can they be missing on your website or uh, on the other side what they like about your website what you're doing good and you should like um, scale it and do more of that so plurdy it's basically a business that helps uh, businesses optimize this first the most important uh, channel their own website okay now most business owners shopify store owners or online merchants one problem that I hear a lot or see a lot is that they don't see the forest because of the trees. There's just so many moving parts in there and they know then want to work on conversion rate optimization, but they don't either have the expertise or the time to learn it. And how do your tools help them to, to dive into this? So basically conversion rate optimization is not a, a very hard thing. It definitely takes time. You need to dedicate a few hours a week on analyzing uh, some data. What we do, we um, give very, in a very simple way. Uh, we give this information. Uh, in Florida, we have uh, heat, maps, heat maps, for example. It's uh, a representation of user interaction in, in the form of uh, a color uh, dotted uh, uh, places on your website. So you don't need to be an expert in order to understand uh, uh, the hotspots on your website, but it immediately gives you an understanding of uh, the places where people click more, the elements people click more, or the elements people are clicking, but they are not supposed to do that. So it's very simple. With the heat maps, uh, you, you don't really need to be an expert. You get this understanding uh, uh, right away after you're checking uh, the data. Same goes with the session replays, for example. If you notice in the heat maps that there is some kind of behavior that you don't understand why people are doing that, you can go to session replays and uh, open few sessions to that uh, of people who were specifically on this page and see what they, you're like a bit, uh, spying on your users yeah but uh, it gives you very like quick uh, information and understanding what you can do better and very often it's like 
it's very simple things. Uh, the button is placed uh, not in the right place, uh, or people are just not understanding what does this button mean. You're using the wrong icon for this button. This things in I think that that's why a lot of businesses uh, uh, are missing are not doing this because uh, it seems obvious. Very often, if you look at your website, it seems that uh, everything is so clear, everything is so, so simple, but your customers can be viewing it uh, in a completely different way. That's why we're giving this information and uh, yeah, all you need is just a few hours of your time uh, to go through this report, uh, to analyze it, but it is not uh, uh, something very complicated and hard. Okay, no, I think you touched on a very few very important points there. So first of all, you need to dedicate some time. And so you need to watch the replays, you need to watch the heat map. And I think the, the first step is really going into watching what your users are doing. And I think that um, replays, um, basically watching your client over the shoulder what they are doing are the best way to to learn about your store then usually what happens is that often at a, a store a website is built by a designer a graphic designer a web designer and they're not necessary conversion rate optimization experts so there's a bit of a disconnect there and um, the store owner might think they have just spent a couple of thousand of dollars for a new shiny website and it must be perfect. And then it comes out if you're watching replays and heat maps that the user do not really understand what's, what they should do there next. What other kind of tools do you offer to help Shopify or merchants with their store? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, actually, we have uh, another like Plurty is an uh, all-in-one tool. So we have more to our heat maps and session recordings. Uh, one important thing specifically for Shopify merchants and for all e-commerce uh, people is uh, pop-up software. So pop-ups for e-commerce is a really big thing. Uh, uh, you can grow your conversions a lot with pop-ups and we have different kinds of pop-ups so it can be like promotional offers when users are leaving your website you can set up this exit intent pop-up give them additional discount maybe this will convince them or at least collect their contact details so you can nurture them follow up a bit later offering some new information that's very important because on the website you have limited opportunity to uh, communicate with your customers there is like no salesperson as in offline store that can come and offer something on top of the um, the existing choice of the customer so pop-up is pop-ups are uh, a great way to communicate with your users uh, and it can be set up uh, in a million different ways uh, um, like triggered by uh, specific uh, actions uh, done on the website or just regular uh, offers that you are uh, providing for all visitors. Uh, another thing that we have at Plurity is a sales performance tracker. So basically we have an opportunity to track the uh, transactions, uh, conversion rates, revenue generated. Uh, uh, but uh, like an addition and a unique thing to this is the attribution of this revenue you and an impact of specific elements of your website so uh, we can show the same way as we are having this heat map so we can show also uh, in a specific amount uh, how much impact uh, um, each element of the website has on the revenue. So for example, this promotional banner on your front page uh, uh, brought you like $3,000 in the last uh, two weeks. So, so you can choose a specific time range and see the impact of uh, every element uh, of your website on sales. So this is a very good thing for understanding uh, uh, not only how many clicks or how many engagements these elements had, but also what is the role of this element? How much uh, value does it bring to your website? Okay, that sounds like very valuable information. I have never considered that, but I think that falls into the 80-20 rule that 20% of your content of your clients and whatsoever bring you 80% of your revenue. And if you can really measure what kind of element on your store, on your website brings you money or converts nicely, that definitely helps in making um, educated decisions on your store. Now, I understand that Plurdy obviously is a one all-in-one solution, which makes it sort of standalone in the marketplaces because all these bits and pieces you offer, obviously, 
there's others in the market who offer each of this and then you end up with a sort of bazaar of different apps in your in your store and they do not work well together how does Plurdy work with with the data that comes in is there any kind of um, reporting tool in there how, how does that work Yes, of course, we have like a dashboard uh, in our platform, uh, so uh, we collect uh, the information about uh, user interactions on the website and then we present it uh, in a nicely way on our platform with like overall dashboards uh, which contains the most important information but also you can check specific pages uh, of your website uh, in a like another tab and see uh, like the most the more detailed data about each of the page uh, of your site so mm -hmm. uh, of course we have a lot of tools and uh, uh, sometimes uh, it's like uh, maybe confusing to uh, somebody that you have everything in one but what we also are seeing that many companies are using our tool across teams so of course uh, um, in bigger companies you have dedicated uh, ux specialists designers uh, separately have CRO specialists uh, or some other uh, optimization uh, specialists. And uh, yeah, we see that uh, it is a solution that can be used uh, by many people in a team and everybody finds a bit of an information that is the most useful uh, for him or her. Yeah, I, th I think there's a huge cost saving aspect as well, because usually you pay for each app that you have. And then at the end of the month, you get a, a huge bill for all the apps that you're using. And Plurdy obviously has everything integrated. So so what's your pricing structure for, for this? Uh, so uh, basically, our pricing depends on the number of uh, page views so you're getting uh, per day. So the bigger the website, uh, the more expensive the package is. Uh, but we're much cheaper uh, than uh, other tools out there that offer the same uh, uh, functionality and the same tools. And as you mentioned, uh, it's all in one solution. Uh, so for that price, you receive much more than just uh, one tool. Uh, but yeah, so the pricing is based on the page views, uh, uh, but we also have an opportunity to track uh, only a part of uh, your website. So if you wanna track only uh, the homepage, the category page uh, uh, pages uh, let's say check out a cart page which can, are considered to be is the most important for e-commerce stores you can definitely set up recordings only for these pages and only uh, they will be tracked uh, so it is very flexible uh, the tracking the pricing so we basically can figure out uh, a good uh, deal for any kind of uh, a store and also for the shopify we have an integration with the shopify so uh, we have a, an, an app uh, that was uh, um, done specifically for Shopify. So you don't even need to add any tracking code. You just need to get the app and that's it. It automatically gives you uh, all the information from 30. Okay. Question in regards to data safety security. Obviously you're dealing there with a lot of customer data. How do you deal with that from your side? Are you compliant with all these different? Yes. Uh, of course, we're uh, totally GDPR compliant, so uh, customers uh, shouldn't be worried about that. Uh, we comply with all of the regulations and uh, requirements. Uh, also, um, sometimes people are worried about uh, uh, the tracking apps uh, slowing down the site. Uh, that's also not a case. Uh, so we did everything to make sure that uh, our app is not, uh, our uh, platform is not slowing down the site uh, it is not uh, breaking any regulations uh, so yeah okay one thing that i'm always overwhelmed when it comes to all-in-one sol solutions is um, the learning time so how long does it take me to get really up to speed and to use it now if you have a couple of different features in there and you said you don't need to start with all of them at the time but what's the usual timeline that somebody starting with your solution how long will people know um, need to get started mm -hmm. so basically uh if you want to 
get started with only one solution, let's say heat maps, uh, you can definitely do it in one day. Uh, and same goes for every tool. It's uh, really not that complicated. Uh, of course, uh, if you want to um, like learn everything, uh, learn all of the about all of the possibilities that Flirty has, uh, it may take uh, for around a week or two to get to know everything. Uh, but we also make sure that uh, uh, your onboarding uh, our customers onboarding is smooth uh, and whenever they need some assistance or some in-person meeting for uh, um onboarding uh, we're uh, very responsive to that uh, i personally have been recording uh, the whole like uh, tutorials uh, for our platform so uh, as this process of learning how to use flirty uh, is very simple and you'll always uh, get some help from our side uh, but i guess that Mostly our customers uh, are doing well on their own and uh, yeah, it just takes a few days uh, to, to get started. Okay, good point. You mentioned there a question from my side. You said your customers. Now I see some big names on your website. I see Subaru, I see Honda, I see Huggies and so on. Who's your perfect customer? Who can use your solution? So... Uh... You know, uh, I sometimes uh, compare like uh, uh, Flirty with Google Analytics because it is a solution that can be used by anybody who has a website. Uh, if you have people that are coming to your website, interacting with them, Flirty is a must have tool uh, for you because it gives you this uh, valuable insights. But if you're talking about like ideal customer profile, about people who are uh, customers who will get the most value, of course, uh, uh, e-commerce uh, uh, stores and retailers uh, uh, will probably be the best fit here because uh, those websites uh, usually have uh, huge amounts of traffic. Uh, on this traffic, with this amount of traffic, you can really get the most uh, correct insights and understanding of, uh, you, you know, you can run a lot of A-B tests, uh, split your users and check like how they're um, reacting to some changes you did on the website. Uh, so definitely websites that have a lot of traffic uh, it is uh, the perfect fit because it will be just easier for them to, to get the uh, most value uh, from from this report so and in um, taking into account uh, this bunch of other tools uh, and software like pop-ups uh, a sales performance tracker which are uh, also the most useful for e-commerce stores uh, that's that's why basically they are the best fit for uh, for the solution. Yeah, good point there. Have some traffic. Um, you need to have some statistical significance um, to make decisions. Otherwise, all the tools in the world will not help you. If you only have 500 visitors a month, conversion rate optimization might not be in your league now. <laughs> What would be a golden nugget or a tip for someone um, thinking about um, using Plurdy and um, to get started? What would what kind of homework should they do from themselves first before they come to you? I think the most important thing is to really understand that uh, there is a probably there could be some quick wins with conversion rate optimization something that you can immediately see change and it will give you like conversion rate uh, conversion rates will grow but also you need to understand that same as seo probably conversion rate optimization takes time it takes a lot of different tests a b tests uh, and it is also important to remember that uh, uh, when we look at our websites we may not notice a lot of things that our customers uh, uh, see in a completely different ways so you should never stop uh, changing something and testing different uh, approaches uh, by using the information not from your own perspective but by using the information your customers uh, are basically giving to you Okay, yeah, don't rely on your own asset. Um, you can't see the forest because of the trees. And um, you're out, as a store owner, you're always biased. Um, so therefore, absolutely good advice there to trust the data. Um, so if somebody wants to approach you and wants to try it out, is there any kind of demo or a trial? How can people get started? Uh, yes, we actually have a trial, a two weeks trial. Uh, we also have uh, like a free version of 
flirty, uh, free forever. Uh, of course, it's limited, uh, but you can test as, as well. Uh, we have uh, an opportunity to book a live demo with uh, one of our specialists. Uh, they will, they can walk you through the platform, show you everything, because of course there are a lot of different uh, tools and solutions uh, uh, in Flirty. So yeah, just go to flirty.com uh, and check it out. Okay, that already answers my question where people can find out more. So plurdy.com is, is the domain. I will put it in the show notes that people can just click and get to your site. Marta, thanks so much for your time. I think that was a very good insight. I always recommend looking deeper into conversion rate optimization. Now, obviously, I'm dealing with that. I'm also biased, but it makes a difference in the business if you basically double your conversion rate you double your business and um, therefore it's a good time invested in going deeper into this topic thanks so much for your time and talk soon yeah thanks for having me bye-bye <laughs> bye-bye